Today has been one of those days in the entrepreneurial journey that just isn't fun. It's it started out well, um, but this afternoon has been fighting fires and doing work that I'm not particularly interested in doing, but I need to because it's client work and it needs to get done and being in this place of knowing the work that I want to do and I want to be doing but knowing that I'm not doing that right now and questioning and wondering am I ever going to get to that point am I ever going to start to actually transition away from this stuff that I've been doing that I'm not really interested in and start to do the stuff that I know I'm better at and I know I will do great things with. The major things that I am not doing right now that need to get done, there's two. There's really two things. One is everything around my, my brand, the brand of Walter Creative and my personal brand even and all the things that I espouse to know how to do. Um, I'm not using myself as proof of concept of those things, and I need to. Um, but I'm also in need of paying the bills. <laughs> and there's that interesting jump where, I'm sure not everyone is in this position, but, but I am, and I know others are, have been, will be in the same spot where there's work you've been doing and that you're known for and that work pays the bills but it's not the work that you want to be doing and you need to break from what you've been doing to get into what you want to do and that that can be very difficult when you're busy doing the work you currently have <clears throat> and um, so I think a lot of the difficulty today and this, this afternoon in particular focuses around being frustrated with doing things that I don't believe are putting me in the direction I need to go and recognizing that it feels like a, there's a hamster wheel that I'm on where it's spinning and spinning and spinning every day is the same oh tomorrow I'll get to all my stuff tomorrow I'll get to all my stuff and uh, things come up and they come in the inbox and they are distracting and I do them and it puts me another day behind where I'm trying to get to that's hard it's really hard So, I, th I think the takeaway from all that is figuring out what it is I want to, need to do. It, it's getting better at setting expectations and boundaries and limitations around the other work, understanding that it's going to get done. Um, but that it's also going to get done in a way that works for both parties. And it's a lot, I'm feeling like a lot of the subcontractor work I'm doing right now is super one-sided, which makes sense. Um, companies you work for are going to have their own best interest in mind. Um, that's not to say that I don't think they're being fair. I think, you know, I, I think they believe they're being fair, but from my perspective, it's coming at, at my expense. And, uh, and the difficult thing for me in that I want to be doing more content creation and marketing and things that require creativity and energy and excitement. And when you're in this place, you can't find it. 
it's not there. So it's like, well, I guess today's a wrap. We'll try again tomorrow. And uh, I can't, I need to figure out a better way to short circuit that and be able to do, to find the creativity again or create a framework where when creativity strikes, I can drop stuff and work on, on the things that require creativity go in knowing that I can come back and work on the other stuff when I'm feeling less inspired. So, that's today. That's this afternoon, more specifically. This morning was fine, this afternoon's been rough. But I just wanted to share that partially with you, partially with myself. Uh, it helps to get it off my chest and not feel like I'm, I'm bearing that burden alone. here's to figuring it out.